We had come across a directive from the Spanish Foreign Ministry to the Superior Council for Sport in Spain, asking them to block and oppose any application for recognition by any of Gibraltar's sporting bodies. So we said to ourselves, if there's that directive in place, surely the Olympic Committee is not going to consider our application, given that the president, Samarang, had been president for 21 years and he practically controlled the International Olympic Committee. So we mounted this campaign and we circularized all the members of the International Olympic Committee. We got very good press coverage. And they told us that they, uh, it would be inappropriate to consider our application before the Barcelona Games. So they, they said they would consider it after the Games. Then nothing happened and we carried on pressing, pressing for, for, for a response. Then in 1998, they tell us that the rules, the Olympic rules had been changed in 1996 and that we no longer, we no longer qualified under the new rule which said that a country or an applicant had to be an independent state recognized by the international community. So that put an end to that. And then we tried to have the International Olympic Committee submit to arbitration before the, uh, the International Court of Arbitration. They refused. Uh, they probably knew that if we went to arbitration, we'd probably win, as has happened with the, uh, the GFA. So then we instituted proceedings in the Swiss courts asking the courts to recognize uh, the Gibraltar Olympic Committee and alternatively to ask the IOC to reconsider our application under the old rule under which would have been, we would have been eligible. That dragged on for a number of years and we ended up in the Swiss Federal Court and the answer was that uh, the uh, our claim was was rejected. Since then, we have tried to find ways and means of uh, progressing or processing our application. We've taken advice from uh, uh, leading international lawyers, and they have all said that we have used all possible arguments in the courts, and that there is nothing that we can legally. What's the next step in this process? Is there one? Well, the next, the next step is to uh, pray for a change of heart on the part of the IOC and a change of rule. Because as long as the rule is uh, saying that you have to be a nation, even though we refer to ourselves as a nation, the world doesn't recognize us as a nation. And so therefore, under the, the, uh, the new rule, um, we don't, we don't qualify. But things can change. One never knows. And Samarang is no longer there. So uh, we could hopefully, uh, we could hope for a change, a change of attitude, or a change, a change of heart.